Hi there and uh, welcome to my local woods. Finally we have some snow. Uh, that was about time. Uh, so winter has arrived here to Norway. I'm going to talk about something very practical in this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about the bug out bag. And here is the bug out bag. Uh, but before I do that, uh, to all the new subscribers, thanks a lot and, and welcome. Uh, so many people have subscribed to this channel uh, during the last few days, so um, you're awesome and thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I have made a video about what I would bring in my bug out bag. I have made that before. Uh, this bug out bag is not mine. This is actually a bug out bag that I am building. Uh, I'm not building the bag itself of course, but um, I am I'm helping put the right stuff into the bag. There are lots of videos here on YouTube uh, where people will tell you what to put in your bug out bag. Um, I disagree with that concept because it will depend on your skill set, your uh, area, your climate and your your plants, right? So in this bag now I have put the essentials and it will cover uh, this individual's needs for a few days, not very long, maybe two days or so. Maybe you could stretch it to three days, even well, more if you have some additional, put some additional food in it. But this is in by no means everything that you should put in your bug out bag. This is the basics. Now the bag itself is quite uh, generic, as they say. Uh, I'm not myself a fan of these bags because they are, I think they're a nightmare to carry. They're not very ergonomic, but um, it will do for, you know, for a, a crisis. It, it will do, it's, it's, it's okay, you know. Um, the most important part is that it, it should be waterproof. And this one, I believe, is waterproof. So, <clears throat> the most essential part of a bug out bag in, uh, in my area is, uh, is this one. It's an amazing piece of kit, the Jarvan uh, bag. It's a uh, tarp slash sleeping bag slash wind cover, rain cover. You can use it as a poncho and um, it's just awesome. It is expensive, I must say it, it is expensive. But it's um, it's it's awesome. Uh, it's used by the Norwegian military, and that was the first item I I put in the bag. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> a uh, cooking pot. Quite simple, you know. <clears throat> someone, <laughs> someone had something to say there. A steel water bottle. It can be used to boil up water in if you lose your cooking pot. Uh, you should have... Um, I mean, <clears throat> it's very essential because that way you can disinfect water by cooking it. Boiling it, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse my English. Folding saw. Uh, this one is the silky gomboy. So this is a, a good saw. <clears throat> First aid kit. Just some basics in here. Probably it's wise to put some painkillers, mild painkillers in it as well. Food. Um, you just... Pour boiling water in 
in um, in these. I use them all the time. Um, <clears throat> another one same concept and I put this book here uh, you can find this one on Amazon it's a classic Morse Kochansky sorry if I mispronounced that but um, bushcraft and this bag is for someone who has I would say basic hiking and camping experience and skills uh, and also basic and adequate uh, navigation skills but it's good to have this you know it's it says here in the book you can do this and that and it also gives you something to do during the long winter nights you know you can read this book okay let's put it here <clears throat> um, you should have a map of your area and if you have a meeting place where, you know, if things go properly sideways, which many are <laughs> suspecting they will, <laughs> uh, given the, the stuff that I have been talking about, you know, you should have a map and you should mark on the map where you meet uh, in case you, you're not able to reach those other people. This is not my area it's just a map that i have you know just to illustrate uh my point here um, and all that <clears throat> privacy and all that <clears throat> you know now <clears throat> let's see a knife these are i believe made by mura Yes, they are, and they have a fur rod in the in the handle. If I can remember how to open it now, uh, yes, a small fur rod. But I'm not bringing a fur rod as my main means of making fire, because even though I use a fur rod all all the time. <coughs> um, I would rather use matches or something like that. Uh, spoon, I couldn't find um, a spork <coughs> to put in the bag, but a spoon will most likely do the job. <coughs> head torch, any head torch that uh, is of decent quality will do the job. This is just some fire starters, just, I don't know if you can see that, just some, yeah, fire starters here. Let's see. And I also put a, uh, this was given to me uh, as a gift actually, it's a mini stove and, what's it called? Emberlit, Emberlit. And it's a mini version of uh, my firebox. It's uh, well, it is. Um, it's not a copy by all means. Uh, if you, for some reason, do not want to make any burn marks or, yeah, you know, if you want to move unnoticed, you can use a stove like this. It's not essential. Uh, don't get me wrong, but. Um, this indiv individual knows how to use these stoves as well. Okay. <clears throat> In here, <clears throat> I have some, uh, you know, essentials for uh, hygiene and um, and um, stuff like that. In its own container. Now let's see here. A multi-tool. Notebook. Pencil, which is a better choice than a uh, pen. You know, pencil is the best option. 
Now, can you guess what this is? Money. Norwegian currency. <laughs> uh, I know what you will write in the comments now. Well, they, very soon you can't use cash. Well, in... That might be, but I would still bring cash. Who knows what will happen. <clears throat> now, here's a um, bandana. This one has some, you know, survival... Uh, no, here it is. Survival um, illustrations and so on, on it. You know, which is kind of cool. Two, um, what, what are these called? Uh, cloths? No, uh, handkerchiefs. This is a little bit disgusting, but you can use these instead of toilet paper and you wash them, boil them. Well, obviously not in, not in these. You, you would have to find another kind of container to do that, but Toilet paper will run out, okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, storm matches in a waterproof container. Compass and spare batteries for the head uh, torch. Now, in addition to this, you would bring things like your wallet, your uh, um, what's it called? <laughs> Toothbrush and things like that. But these are the essentials, the way I see it. This is a starting point. Um, there are more things I would add here, but let me get the kettle on here now. <clears throat> it seems like there was one essential item I forgot to put in the bag. And it's... Uh, water filtration, a water filtration system like the life straw or similar. It's uh, it's good to get out in the woods and uh, you know in these crazy insane times uh, this is where you can find some peace and calm and sense and reason, you know. But yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. Getting ready to uh, go for an overnight tour. That will be tomorrow actually. So it's, uh, the forecast is, well, it's going to get quite cold. So, uh, looking forward to that actually. <clears throat> now I said in this little container here, there are personal hygiene items. Uh, there is that as well, but I forgot to tell you that the most important um, item in this container is uh, iodine tablets. Um, in case of a uh, nuclear disaster, something like that, um, I can't remember the, the which organ, uh, what's it called? Um, can't remember the English name, sorry, but uh, people under 40 should take iodine to, to prevent contamination or uh, damage to that organ actually and uh, so that I put that in this container now if you want to watch my video about my my bug out bag you will see a link somewhere above me or on the end screen here and uh, until next time stay strong out there don't let the bastards grind you down Okay, have a nice one. Bye.